Hey everybody, so it's that time of year again, it's time for Christmas. Now, it seems like only yesterday it was the starting of 2015, and now here we're sitting on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, and like, wow, this year is just alone. So I decided to do this um, Christmas video here. Um, as you can see, I'm actually wearing um, a Christmas sweater, it's like the version of a Santa Claus. Um, I got an Urban Planet um, in Jackson Square Mall here in Hamilton, Ontario. It's actually kind of cute. Then it has a hood part. Here, I'll show you. Hang on. And actually, it's a Santa hat, the uh, hood part. See? I think I put it there. Oh, no. Okay. Ugh! Whatever. But as you can see, it's a Santa hood. And there's a little Santa bow here. So that's the hood sweater. And it was only like $30 plus tax at Urban Planet, so it's actually pretty good. Um, it's my first Christmas sweater I actually bought um, in my life. Um, I'm not into like the ugly ones because, in my opinion, I'm not 60 years old, hence I'm not wearing that crap. But this one was really cute, and it was the last um, small size there, so like, I got it out, right? So, it sounds kind of cute. As you can hear in the background here, um, I have Christmas music playing, I made a special playlist on iTunes for this video. Um, right now it's Mariah Carey All I Want for Christmas. And my very tall skinny Christmas tree here. Um, I like I like the skinny tree because in my apartment the way it's laid out, the living room, dining room, kitchen, but I, I, just in the general area of the apartment, um, the skinny tall Christmas tree accommodates my apartment quite nicely. Um, I actually it's better in person than on video, but I have it all decked out. Started with, uh, a red star at the top and all the lights, garland, decorations, you know, pretty nice. I've had this tree for two years now, so it's actually kind of nice. Um, so yeah, um, what else should we mention? Um, oh, yeah, Christmas. So. A lot of people going to see their families for Christmas, either on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, or sometimes even on Boxing Day if time permits, right? Um, to have a lovely Christmas dinner, family get together, have a few drinks, maybe um, open presents and stuff like that. And that's what Christmas is all about. It's not all about, you know, getting Christ nice Christmas cards or getting presents from family and friends. It's not all about that. Um, it's a nice gesture that about, but... It's really about getting together with friends and family, enjoying each other's company, and be grateful for what you um, have and for the family that you are in. Right? It's not about, you know, getting the hottest new phone in a little wrap box, you know. It's not all about that. It's really not. I know Christmas, um, over time, has, be has become um, materialistic, right? And that's just not right, because, you know what? Christmas is not about material. It's really not. It's all about, getting, about family and love and, you know, getting together, you know? It's all about the presents. Even though the presents and it's a nice gesture, um, giving and receiving, right? So, that's all about that. Keep that in mind. Now, um, with my family, it's very complicated. I haven't spoken to my mother in, in basically a year now. Um, I don't talk to my sisters anymore, all three of them. And I barely, barely talk to my twin brother. I talk to him once in the moon. That's usually at Children's Aid at a, at a drop in group on Thursdays. He usually goes. But other than that, I don't really talk to my family. So this year for Christmas, um, I will not be getting together um, with, with any of them. No mother, no siblings. No, so. Um, but before this year, every year, um, we always got together for Christmas, except for, except for two years while I was growing up in foster care, but until last, up until last year, um, last year was how last students got together, I had them all here, you know, for Christmas dinner, gifts exchange, stuff like that, and the day before that was this Christmas day, um, so I had them here last year on Boxing Day, but the day before, um, we were at our mother's apartment, um, for Christmas dinner get together as well. And that's the last time we're doing that. Um, because our family, unfortunately, I'm not going to go into detail about it, but very, um, dysfunctional family. Me, me and my immediate family. Medium family, I mean my mother and my siblings. Okay? So, last year I spent so much money on them, right? And then, for the fights we had, and then our mother, my mom and me fighting, you know, it's just, it's just, you know, it's a waste to me. The way my family turns out towards me, it's just a waste of time and money to go and spend money for them on Christmas. So, um, I got 
Last week at, at a CCA after the Catholic Challenge Day Society Christmas dinner on the 17th of December this month, uh, I just gave my brother a Christmas card and that's about it. Um, but I'm not getting together with any of them. I'm most likely going to get together with friends and go to my friend's condo in Burlington if I'm going to get together with all of us. So it'll be fine. I'll be around people who actually, you know, love and care about me and, you know, um, that's always been by my side no matter what has happened in my life. So those type of people I'll be around for Christmas, which are basically my doctor family, if you, if you will, right? So it's not, family doesn't have to be biological for a lot of, for a lot of people, okay? It can be um, just people you want in your life that you've adopted as family, right? Um, and a lot of people will be bringing um, cards together with their boyfriends and whatnot, so we can turn it on most of them. Um, what else? Let's see. Um, yeah, Boxing Day should be a good sale, hopefully. Hopefully the Apple Store and Make Reveal for um for sales. Has uh, sales on the iPhone 6S. I know I'm not gonna be on Boxing Week. He get a new phone, so we're gonna have sales, kind of right now. And most likely I'm gonna get a newer computer. Um with a, um, a webcam that's happening up here, so that way uh, my videos and the picture of um, audio is a lot better than this webcam and this front laptop. It's not bad, but it's pretty better, right? So I'm buying a new laptop and webcam on the Washington team, so I can. And I can use that for my hot college as well, so I'm going to finish it starting on um, January 12th, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Oh, for those, um, I tried to look, uh, last night on, like, on the internet for, um, services out there for people who are living in shelters on the street or, the, you know, don't have family to go to for Christmas. Um, Christmas dinners, um, uh, I didn't, I found stuff from, like, last week and a few weeks before for stuff like that, but there's nothing, unfortunately, on New Year's Eve or uh, Christmas Day, even Boxing Day, which is kind of unfortunate. So I really hope those, I really hope they're, if you're living in a shelter, I really hope that shelter, if you're living in, can put together a nice Christmas dinner for them and a good evening and have a eat pretty thing for Christmas day. That'd be really nice for them, right? I really hope you do that. Um, because, like, why not, right? So, I really hope you do that. And then, also, I've... My CAF work in my name has done a lot for me in the last two years that I've been my guardian. Especially, more so this year, too. A lot of things we've done this year as well. So I decided to go to Fire Weather um, and get our nice um, outfit, you know, top, pants, and personal guy. And she really loved it. And so I did that for her. So that's the only person I've really bought for, if you will. A lot of people do cards, but her, especially for what she has done. I got her a nice little Christmas gift. She was surprised. I almost made her cry, but... But yeah, but other than that, I've been getting a lot of good Christmas cards, too, believe it or not. Um, this one from my neighbor, Kelly and Marie. Wishing... Oh, wishes. Let's just let's see it. But wishing you a very Merry Christmas. Jackson and Mater. Enjoy the pleasures of your season, the happiness, and the good cheer. And may the Christmas celebration be the highlight of your year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Love always, Kelly and Lorraine. I wish you a speedy recovery. I got this shit after I got home from the hospital for my jaw surgery at the end of November, beginning of December. That's why I'm focused on my chin right now. Um, let's see here. I like that one. It's pretty cute. This one, oh, it's so sparkly. It's so cute. This one here, I don't know if you can see it properly on the camera. Oh, there we go. Better. Up here, the border is kind of sparkly. Nice. Um, so the season's greetings and season's blessings to you too. Your paper men Norman. My delivery guy for my daily delivery at the Hamilton Spectator. Um, he actually gave me this card with my new paper. It was really nice. I was not expecting that. And now I know that my delivery guy who gave me my paper is Norman. It's kind of funny. Well, not funny, but it's kind of cool, I guess. Um, what else is here? I have them all beside me on um, the in the big summer. Wow. Poinsettia uh, um, Christmas plant there too. Hang on. Um this one's Joy, Peace, Hope, Christmas. Nice and fast. I like this one too. I should have called them. I really cute this year. 
Wishing you all the joyful, enduring, hope-filled gifts of the season. Merry Christmas from Deb and Jenny. I'm doing a story that I really adore from the Catholic Shandu Society of Oh, not so nice of them. This one, cute that it's now in the group. Um, season, special greetings of the season, best wishes for, for, yeah, for the new year. Happy holidays from a super fan of so there's no name on here, just a uh, nice message, right? But it's from Super Santa. Surprise people, so do that, but it's cool. Add a little mystery to Christmas, why not? Um, oh, this one. Okay. It's a, it's a Christmas card and a picture of a dog. He, this person seriously knew me, you know, having me here and stuff. It's like, and it says peace on earth, but this dog, I don't know if you can see the dog by the Christmas on the carpet. Yeah. But really cute card, I love this one. Um, Merry Christmas. Wishing you peace, love, and friendship this holiday. All the best in 2016 from your friends at CCAS. Mm -hmm. All the workers. From the workers. They so know me at CCAS. You know, I'm a dog and a meter. Aww, that's a joke. Okay, that's all. Okay, okay. This one's a cute one. That looks like the one. Right here, it's special. I'm going to take a look May the gifts of the season fill you with joy. You're keeping my moment. Oh my god, I just got this today with my paper, actually. I forgot to mention that. Norman, my paper guy, gave me two Christmas cards. Oh my god, I gotta wake up super early one day and catch him so I can thank him. I can give him a thank you card. Uh, I'm back today, probably. Oh, actually, tomorrow. Sorry. Um, Tis the season. Oh, this one's another cute dog with Santa hat on it. Look at that, look at that. That was cute. I'm Jackson. To be merry. Enjoy the holiday season and all the best in the new year. Merry Christmas, Marlene. This is from my guardian, Marlene. She so knows me too. A little cute little dog with a hat. Look at that meter. Oh, he's just over there by the kitchen. I know it's turning at me. Oh. oh, that's so cute. Marlene knows me too. Quite well. Okay. Mm. This one. Oops. Oh, no. Nope. Well, we're good. And this one, last one here, um, this is Merry Christmas, it's got like, color trees, kind of like this, cute. Um, Jackson, um, that's true. In much happiness in the new, oops, sorry, Merry Christmas, and it continues, in much happiness in the new year, and, and always. Rocco, CCAS at home, Rocco, okay, this guy, Rocco, um, He's not, is that big head chief, like, he runs the whole agency, right, he's that top of the line at CCAS. He actually took over for Ursia DiNardo, who just retired last year, um, it's her time to retire. So he took over for her, and he's a really sweet young uh, man, and he was actually at the Christmas dinner at CCAS. And it's the first time I've been meeting him, I do believe, me even long before him. But he sent me this in the mail, it was really nice of him. Let's put this here, hang on. I want to show you my point set up. Whoop. No, that's not. Hang on. Sorry. Oh, I want to show you my point set up. I'm trying to figure it around, but I don't want to have all these cards falling everywhere. Just give me a minute here, guys. Oh, okay. So, I'm going to turn my computer ever so carefully and show you the table that I just got the cards on. Oh, hey everyone, sorry about that. I, um, the computer just went woo for a minute. So, as you can see here, um, I'll turn this computer ever so slightly again. Careful, careful. I'll tell you why I need a new computer. I think the battery shot. So, there's the cards I was mentioning about. And then up here, turn that more, it's the 3% point set up on it. I get a, I get a percent plant every year for my dining room table. Leave it over here for the video. But yeah, this is the point set up point here, and you know, it's the cards. And then, if you give me a minute, two seconds to go. You can see I get I got two stockings here. Or, uh, one's mine here. That's my stocking. This is Merry Christmas on it. Two little velvety decorations. This one's for Mater. Um, it's got the Christmas nature decoration here. So 
You can see the end of the video, guys. But yeah. I'm gonna die here. So that's my Christmas decorations for this year. And, oh! This year, that's my Christmas decorations. Hang on, guys. decorations for this year, um, two stockings, the reason my friends go on the outside of the door, the big queen Santa plant that I got from Nation's grocery store, um, Christmas card, a tall skinny tree, which accommodates my apartment quite nicely, actually, believe it or not, red, red um, lace Christmas table cloth, my dining room table, and yeah, and then obviously this, of course, with, with black super clean jeans and black eyes, here. So this is my Christmas outfit that I'm going to be wearing on the 25th, that's tomorrow. It's, I just want to get this video out of the way and record, it in, um, record um, the video in this outfit. Um, oh, the Christmas music. Right now it's Kate's Kate's Kate, version of Christmas music. I like her Christmas style music uh, so much better than a lot of the other ones. Because you're in the fact, it's like, like it's groovy, you can dance to it, literally. And she's a really ridiculous singer. Actually, correction, because Kate is the band she's in. But she's, but she's the lead singer for Cascade, and her name's Natalie DeVoe, she's a really good singer, and yeah, I love the perfect music for that. It's really, really cheerful and really electronic, dance-wise, right? So, yeah, so I'm going to leave this video up to you guys. Um, thank you so much for tuning in, and thank you so much for being a part of my um, YouTube journey this year, 2015. Ho hopefully you continue. Come with me on my videos, um, in the year 2016 as well. So, if you have any thoughts or want to comment anything about this video, please don't hesitate to comment down below here. And don't, please don't hesitate to also comment, share, and subscribe, folks. And I'll catch you guys all on the flip side. Merry Christmas, and I wish you all the best in the happy new year of 2016. Bye, lovelies.